Just north of London, one of the world's most unusual aircraft is taking shape. Called the Airlander 10, its aim is to revive the fortunes of the Zeppelin. Airlander 10 is what we call the largest aeroplane in the world. It's uh, 302 foot long, so uh, many tens of feet longer than an Airbus A380. Uh, it's taller than an Airbus A380. Hybrid Air Vehicles, the British company behind the airship, is trying to bring gas-filled blimps back into style. It has approximately 30,000 cubic meters of helium within it when it's trimmed for normal operation. The Airlander flew briefly under a Pentagon program that considered it shipping it off to help in the war in Afghanistan. But the project was scrapped when money ran tight. Hybrid Air Vehicles bought the vehicle back on the cheap, returned it to the UK, made some upgrades, and is now about to go flying again. Airships use complex structures to help keep them airborne, and instead of the volatile hydrogen gas to provide lift, they now use helium. That makes the modern airship more sophisticated and safer than its ancestors. And it's the main reason companies like Hybrid Air Vehicles and also defense contractor Lockheed Martin are embracing the technology. The potential applications for air vehicles are as varied as the companies that are building them. So I think what we'll start doing, we'll start with is a luxury science here. On the production aircraft, we'll take this cabin area all the way back into the fuel tanks. So we've got room for th three times the area for passenger cabins. Others are pursuing more down-to-earth roles. This technology is su very suitable for remote logistics. So whether we're talking about mining, oil or gas, or any kind of other com commodity, this type of technology is very applicable to that. If the pioneers have their way, the airship will not be a fluke appearance in the sky above, as designers jostle for customers. Trying to take lighter than air to the next step, this is where it becomes a, a viable alternative to aeroplanes, to helicopters. You know, it'll never take over all of those, but there are roles up there for, for Airlander as a sort of airborne truck.